about a month and a half behind where we usually are. But we have copies over there that somebody will pass up. Uh, and it's up fairly dramatically because this is uh, what everybody's wish is. This is not a final budget. Those people in the media, remember, this is a uh, <laughs> uh, And in fact, I could lower this budget uh, substantially, uh, but I'm looking uh, for a little bit of guidance from the board. And the budget's up. ARRA is gone. That's $148,000 gone. The state allocation uh, has gone down. Considerably, the penalty is up. Uh, the big news is that Kingfield is going to see a really significant increase in their allocation, no matter what you do. Uh, and I'm looking for a little guidance here on what the board would like me to come to the next meeting with. Uh, well, what, is, what is in this budget? I mean, that's basically. I'd like to know. I mean, we have some teachers retired. Did you right. replace them in this budget? Uh, yes, uh, they are replaced in this budget. Okay. They're replaced with, we have some teachers retire. We have three retirements at this time. Uh, there are uh, a number of people who are in uh, Chapter 1 or other federal programs who are uh, going to be reduced. So uh, they have filled in some of those empty positions. There's, there's some people in this budget, Mike, who weren't in here last year. Now, did you put them in this budget because the board has not give you a direction? Or you just put them in this budget um, just because? What, what, what is it? I mean, I, I thought at oh, one time we had talked about, this board had talked about the direction they were going to kind of try to go was to um, try to reach the required number of teachers <coughs> that the said we should and we could do it over a period of time. Yes, we have staff that's retiring and we're replacing them and we're not going to achieve that, no matter yes. what I'm going to We're never going to achieve it if you keep doing that. So that's, that's what I'm asking. Right. You put them in there because you wanted the board to make the decision and not you. I put them in there because I think the board, if we're going to uh, lay people off, put them on the street, I think that's a board decision. I don't mind helping the board with that if that's what the board wants to do. Uh, but I'm extremely reluctant to put them in there as being laid off and then have the board decide to return them to the budget. I thought you were talking about retirees. But we're, we're talking about people retiring, aren't we? Not people getting laid off. Yes, but you're going to have to lay off a bunch of people from Chapter 1 if you don't put them in put in place the retirees. Mm -hmm. Okay? So if the board is willing to consider layoffs, then we'll figure out what to do. Uh, I'm not sure the board has shown any great taste for that in the past. So I'm looking for some guidance. That's all I'm looking for. You know? Uh, the two of those are from the Stratton School. So it's hard to envision how the Stratton School could function with two fewer teachers. Uh, we'll talk about the Stratton School again a little further on here. But, uh, you know, it's a... So people would have to shop around, frankly. Uh, and it kind of comes down to what the board wants to do. And typically boards have some idea what they'd like to see the final budget be and you know, how that relates to taxation or whatever. And there uh, typically has not been any guidance on this matter at this point. So give me a target, guys, and tell me what you want, and I'll go try to figure out how to achieve it. Okay. Uh, 